Hey friends, so it's been a while that you know I, I keep on getting comments saying that you know I don't show my face on the camera you know if you have a face like this then obviously you can avoid <laughs> you know showing things on the camera but then that's not the reason because I like to change the format a bit at times and you know me talking into the camera is something that you might not enjoy always so today um, I'm going to do something that everybody at some point in time a car owner would like to learn about so we are going to clean the interiors of our uh, cruise um, in a diy fashion and of course you know for that you have the little mechanic who is ah yeah there she is so both of us are going to clean the interiors of the car so i'll let you know or you know rather tell you what is the reason why are we cleaning it okay so as you can see there is some you know marks here there are fingerprints there then you can see there are fingerprints here and there is generally a lot of dust overall so we need to clean this um, so the cleaning process is not very expensive to be honest uh, but the if you give it outside to clean you will not get the kind of result that you are expecting so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it myself so i'll show you how to do it okay so we'll go to so for cleaning and interior cleaning you need uh, you know interior cleaner so i'm using the 3m foaming car interior cleaner and some microfiber cloth so this is not anyway sponsored by either of them we are not at that level that we can get a sponsorship so this is something that i bought with my own money and apart from that i'm also going to use a painter's brush to agitate the foam so you can see the little mechanic has already started her work so i will be using her help to do all of this so yeah let's start So this is before and this is after. It has done a pretty good job. I am really happy. So what we are going to do is now we are going to do this door pad. Along with that we will do these two pillars, one on either side. Then we will do these sun visors. Then post that I am going to attack this. This is the dirtiest part of the car. 
Uh, other than that, it has done a pretty good job. I can see it's neat and clean. There is not much of anything that is worth talking about. So yeah, let's attack this door now. I'll first talk about the good things then I'll talk about the bad things okay so there is no bad things it's basically a bad thing so I'll come to that later so the good thing is uh, it has done a phenomenal job like if you can see um, this was pretty dirty so every time I wipe it it is doing a good job it is kind of you know cleaning everything off this was never in this color since I brought the car it has gone for um, interior cleaning multiple times so I've never seen it this clean especially if you look at this pillar all the marks that you had here are gone there are a bit here so probably we need to take that off again uh, everything is clean like you can see um, the roof I could only clean till here uh, till this area I clean the sunroof thingy well so that is also a plus um, now let's come to the negative of this the problem with this is the quantity is pretty less so technically I'll tell you what I cleaned I cleaned four door pads I cleaned the dashboard I cleaned the center console and then I cleaned half of the roof so for a small to mid size car uh, the quantity is enough but for a big car um, like the cruise you cannot do the complete interior cleaning with this you at least need three bottles if you want to do the floor as well um, so yeah that is something that I've learned second thing is it cleans everything and removes all the dirt so what happens is things get exposed now I need a polish to be applied on this otherwise this will catch dust pretty fast so that is something that I have to do as well other than that uh, it's a great product I have enjoyed working with this especially you know the kind of effort needed is pretty low for this like you know I just needed two microfiber towels uh, and a painter 
painter's brush so it did its job well but like i said the only drawback is i have to polish it as well otherwise all the scratches are visible because this um, you know kind of leaves a very dry uh, finish so we have to do something about that as well so yeah that's about it i hope you learned something i too learned something today this was my first time using this um, prior to this i was using some detailing spray and that was not doing this kind of a job i'm actually out of uh, the dashboard spray otherwise we would have done that as well so yeah now i need to clean the whole vehicle as you can see there was a small rain so it has left a lot of uh, you know water spark marks and plus there is some dirt on it so i have to wash the whole vehicle but this was pretty productive i'm really happy with the outcome so the interiors are now looking clean but for a car this size you at least need three for a small car you need two um, something like the zen you can do away with around one and a half that is just for one time uh, if you want to do it at least once in every month then you need at least three bottles for the zen and for something like the cruise you need at least six bottles but you know nobody does it once in every month so interior cleaning is something that happens most likely once in a year so yeah that was the video i hope you liked it if you did please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one bye